Hello and welcome back to Pocono, as it's the Coke Vanilla Cup Series turn to take to the track. <coughs> After an exciting nationwide race yesterday, which saw Zach Buchanan winning the race, Coke Vanilla stars say, hey, let's take to the track this time, and let's put on a better show. Matt Benassi will start alongside Drew Austin in the front row. It'll be Jerry Shelley and Harrison Buck I row two with Warren Cherry and hometown fan Kyle Sosnowski in row three. Jacob Budd and Danny Everett row four. Danny trying to do the season sweep here of Pocono. And in row five, Jeffrey Buckeye and Jake Rogers. So we know the points leader starting on the pole. How about his main points rival coming into the race? Amy Shelley comes in 39 points behind. Starts on the outside, but I can't tell what row. Drivers, Scott Moore, okay, now I can tell it's row six. Watch the field roll off. Looks like no problems there. I don't see anyone on pit road. And with that, let's take you back. Uh, we'll bring you back for the green flag here from Pocono. And we are back. 20 laps set here to go from Pocono. So we switched to TV2 camera coming through turn number three. I'll try not to make this as many mistakes with that turn as I did with yesterday's race. But here we go, the points leader, Drew Austin, looking for win number three on the season. He hits the gas, we're off and running here. As Matt Benassi now has a lane to the inside. Here going into turn number one, but Jerry Shelley's going to do his best to fill up that hole. There's three wide already as they head into turn number one. Coming off, this is the trouble spot. Looks like they're okay right now. No caution yet. Looks like so far so good. Jerry Shelley right to the back bumper of Brendan Patterson. We've notated how long it's been for Jerry since that last win. He's closing in on 50 races as well. Give Drew Austin the five bonus points for leading the first lap, though. Harrison Buckeye in third, Danny Everett fourth, and Matt Bonassi, who started on the outside of the front row. He's back in fifth. That's actually a distant fifth back there. Brennan Patterson's back here. The battle mainly is for seventh, though. It's three wide now as they head into a ton turn. Oh, uh, this is not going to look good for Kyle Sosnowski as they come off that. Oh, wow. They're making that work. Kyle gets out of it, though. Nearly turned the two, though. Back up to the race lead. Still green flag racing through two laps now. So the battle's still way back there. It's now between... Charles Sanford and Adam Derrickson for the seventh spot. Top six have broken away now as Danny Everett looks inside of Harrison Buckeye. And down through turn three. So far, no lead changes. Brandon Patterson's gone past Matt Bonassi, though. And that's going to bring Adam Derrickson right back up into this. Buckeye looks inside Shelley for second. He's going to be there as they head off into turn number one.
Patterson now, or sorry, Everett falls underneath, as well as Patterson, the two Roush Brigade, the two of the Roush Brigade right there. Speaking of the Roush Brigade, let's, let's check in on Dylan Young in the 16. Came out this week that he was moving from Roush Fenway over to Rick Hendricks' team at the end of the season. He'll be driving the 24 that is currently occupied by Charles Sanford. To be the first person other than Charles to actually drive that 24 here in the Coke Vanilla Cup Series. No word yet on where, where uh, Charles might end up. It's been a very rough season for that 24 crew. It also came out that uh, William Duncan has re signed with the six boys of Roush Fenway for at least another season. So that's good to hear. William has a win so far this season, running 7th in the points with that number 6 car. So we head back up for the race lead. And Derrickson's up here, and we have a new race leader. It's Harrison Buckeye who's going to lead at the stripe. Give him 5 bonus points as the 0 comes into this race 22nd in points. Patterson looks underneath Drew Austin for the second spot. Ben, he and Jerry Shelley have the two longest winless streaks of those with a race win. Obviously, the longest winless streaks period go to Tom Gerard and Charles Jackson. As Adam Derrickson makes a look underneath Brennan pa our, uh, Drew Austin for the third spot. It'll be interesting to see if Danny Everett can follow underneath there. Brian Patterson trying to get a draft off the zero. I wouldn't be surprised to see Buckeye try and snake it down this front straightaway to break the draft. John Azala looks underneath. I believe that's Jack Smith or Charles Sanford back there. That would be about for the 10th position on track, depending on who it is. Is with Charles, and so that's a battle for 10th. So we go back there. John Zayla has it now. Now Jack Smith wants 11th, and Kyle Sosnowski is going to follow underneath for 12th. As there's the other Charles back here as well. Daniel Day looks underneath Jake Rogers. Jerry Shelley makes a pass on Matt Benassi. And Drew Austin makes a pass once again on Adam Derrickson. Adam comes into this race 139 points behind Drew Austin. And crossover time as Adam looks back underneath. Jerry Shelley inside of Danny Everett for fifth. Daniel Day's right there. Jake Rogers has to deal with John Azela right now in the 46 while he tries to pass the 75. Jerry Shelley unsuccessful on passing the 99. Looks like the draft playing a crucial role in the straightaway as Everett got draft from the 1 and the 30 and helping the 33 to get him by. And Brennan Patterson has taken the race lead from Harrison Buckeye. And he led the last lap at least, so. Bram Patterson now going to try and uh, run away with this one, hopefully. At least for him, that's what he's hoping. He needs a good run to get back into this. He's fifth in the points, 162 points out. It's over a race, and more importantly, he does not have a race win this season, as he is sporting that long, winless streak. Now I'd have to actually look it up on what the winless streak is, so... As Adam Derrickson now looks underneath Harrison Buckeye. Here come three drivers with a race win this season. Danny Everett being the third. Remember, he's trying to go and pull off another one. He won here when we last visited this track. Looks like Derrickson's going to have second before they go into turn number one. Question is going to be: Is someone going to be still inside of him? Well, maybe he doesn't because he's still not clear. 
and Brennan Patterson is loving this as now Danny Everett goes for second. He's going to fall in line behind. Oh, and Harrison Buckeye's going to pull the crossover move and dive bomb it into turn number two. So now Derrickson's going to try and chase down the 17 of Brent. Oh, whoops. Uh, as I was saying, he's going to try and chase down the 17 of Brennan Patterson. Buckeye now has third back as Jerry Shelley grabs fourth from Danny Everett. Daniel Day peeks out of line to try and help the 27, apparently. Well, actually, he's going to try and make it three wide and thinks wiser of it. Derrickson apparently is getting a draft off the 17, so these cars are punching a sizable hole in the air. Because Derrickson closed in by about 15 hundredths of a second from the last time around. Buckeye's there. So right now we have four Chevys, actually five Chevys, trying to chase down the Ford of Brennan Patterson. Because then there's the other two manufacturers back there battling for... Uh, the sixth spot on the racetrack. As we go to TV2. as, And we're back. Sorry about that. You haven't missed much, I promise. Daniel Day, though, has moved into fourth. That's about it. Jerry Shelley actually fell back to seventh. We haven't had any pit stops yet. No caution flags. And I was able to look it up. Brennan Patterson has got an exactly 50 race winless streak that he is trying to snap here today. That is at least if I have my chart updated as much as I can as possible. Oh, I think we might have pit stops here. At least these guys are. How many are pitting? Or at least who isn't pitting? Henry Sanford isn't pitting. Sky Commons, Amy Shelley, Sam Young, and I believe that is Elijah Workman in the 29 back there. And it is. Ton of guys on pit road this time around. As the top five stay out, we'll see if that helps them at all. Remember, that's what Kyle Sosnowski did when the when the Nationwide race went caution-free. He stayed out as long as he could and actually helped him to take the lead or at least come out right behind the race leader. We'll have to see if these guys are pitting this time around. I'd say so. They're riding a lower line than they normally would. And they all are, so we'll watch Brennan Patterson here and see if he can't take back the race lead as he's all alone out there. Where is Adam Derrickson? Wow, a slow pit stop for the um, 25 crew. Let's watch, see if there's tires going on. At least the right sides it looks like this time around for the guys on pit road. Long time on the 5 and the 12. The 12 still on the right sides. Right sides only for them. Meanwhile, here comes Brennan Patterson. And there it is. Brennan Patterson takes the race lead. I don't know how well this will work because now they're having to try and get up to speed. It's not going to be a race winning move, but it might improve their spot. And how big of a lead is this going to be for Brennan Patterson? He is in his own zip code out there right now. If Brennan were to hang on to this, he would be the 15th different winner. And there's a caution flag out.
a lot of guys involved. And I'm not sure if this race will get back to racing. Brad Johnson's involved. Jeff James. I think Alex Jones got through it because he was so far back. Jake Rogers, Mary Shelley, Kyle Austin, Jacob Budd, Amy Shelley, Gene Sanford, Jack Smith has damage, Dylan Young, Tom Gerard, Derek Benassi, Devin Whitson, Warren Cherry's on pit road. Elijah Workman's got damage. So too does John McNamara. Well, at least if we do get a restart, what this will do is it'll set up a nifty little shootout here where lap cars will not be in the way. And everyone will be grouped right back up. Let's take a look at what happened to bring out the caution, though. And we're back, and I brought back to this point exactly because this will show exactly why this 41 car is going to get into 29. 29 had just come off a of pit road. And you'll see coming down the back straightaway, Gene's making the look to the inside. Try, decides better of it, but at that point it's too late. Makes contact with the 29 car. And it's just on from there. There's Jack Smith getting involved. There's Gene Sanford again. Let's see. There's Amy Shelley. There's Tom Gerard. Warren Cherry, who gets put up into the air. So for the second straight day, we have a guy flipping. And it... I don't get why Derek runs into this, because the track's already blocked at that point. There's no reason to have ran into like that. And actually, Alex Jones does get some damage. 32 worked its way through. So unfortunately for all those involved, and misunderstanding on the room, Elijah was going a little bit slower than Jean was at the time, and she thought... She can make it back in behind him, and unfortunately did not, and that ensued. So we'll bring you back if we uh, to see if we actually get a green flag finish in this one, or if it will end under caution. And we're back. Lights on the pace car. We will get a one-lap shootout in this one. Drivers out after the incident. Jeff James, Gene Sanford, Warren Cherry, Derek Bonassi, Devin Whitson, Tom Gerard, Dylan Young, Brad Johnson... Jake Rogers, Kyle Austin, Amy Shelley, and John McNamara. And your top 10 is Brennan Patterson, Harrison Buckeye, Drew Austin, Adam Derrickson, Kyle Sosnowski, Pichu London, Jerry Shelley, Daniel Day, Chris Washer, and Matt Benassi with 11 through 20th being Charles Jackson, Sam Young, Jeffrey Buckeye, William Duncan, Henry Sanford, Sky Commons, Danny Everett, Charles Sanford, John Azela, and Trevor Meacham. One lap. One winner. Anyone up here could win it. I'd probably put my safe money, though, on anyone in the top five. Let's see how this one goes. It doesn't matter if a caution flag comes out. We'll race it back nonetheless. Green flag's out. Look at Harrison Buckeye. He's right with Patterson as they take the green flag. Drew Austin peaks low. That might be the best news that Patterson's seen. Is that Drew Austin will battle with Harrison Buck as they go through turn one. Can he make quick work of him? Yes, he can. And now he'll try and chase down the 17. As the 17 starts to break away now. Through the tunnel turn. And I don't think Drew's going to be able to get inside of him. And team, a Team Thunder driver is going to sweep the weekend as it's Brian Patterson going to victory lane for Roush Fenway. And if I said sweep the weekend, I meant sweep Pocono. Patterson. Breaks the streak. As he'll record his second career win. His first of season two. 
the 2004 season. Your top 10 behind them is as follows. Drew Austin, Adam Derrickson, Pichu London, Harrison Buckeye, Jerry Shelley, Kyle Sosnowski, Daniel Day, Charles Jackson, and Sam Young. Nobles throughout the field. Henry Sanford in 12th. Danny Everett, 14th. William Duncan, 17th. Trevor Meacham in 19th. Sanford, 22nd. Matt Dixon, 23rd. Seth Cole in 25th. Mary Shelley, 29th. Amy Shelley, 32nd. And out of the race. So congrats to Drew, or sorry, congrats to Brendan Patterson on the win here today. We'll take you down to the victory celebration. We'll bring you the points, who's in, who will need a win to get have any shot, and who has the win and would be in as a result. I'm Gordon Fan 291. This has been a production of the Unreal Racing Uncontained. See you guys next time. Brian Patterson getting to do donuts for the first time, or decided to do donuts for the first time, as his first win came at a point where no one decided to do a uh, victory celebration. Let's see, yeah, season 15 races or so. He put it like race five at Darlington was his first win. You know what? It may not be 50. I don't know. For some reason, the that doesn't sound right in my head. But either way, it was a rinless streak of over 50 races that Brennan Patterson will uh, snap here today. He's making sure to get all the good out of those tires, isn't he? One more for good measure. As he'll take it to victory lane. And the Smirnoff Ford finishes it off. We'll see you next week. It's Indianapolis for the Cup Series and the Nationwide Series with the trucks going to the short track at O.